who is Killian Hayes? Right. So, you know, as you know, Knicks fans out there probably are thinking international point guard, you know, uh, Frank Nittikina, <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. Um, but I'm, t- I'm here to tell you right now that this is a completely different situation. Killian Hayes, for me, has the is probably the most intriguing prospect in this draft. Uh, he's got, you know, first of all, when you look at his his size, 6'5", 215 combo guard, that jumps out right away. He's got an NBA-ready body already. Uh, and he reminds me a lot of D'Angelo Russell in the way that he plays on offense. Uh, and he's the kind of shot creator, the kind of playmaker that would fit perfectly with what the Knicks are building right now. He's averaging 12.8, or well, average if their season's over. 12 and 6, All 50% right. from the field, 40% from three. Like that. <laughs> Got to gotta like that, you know. The def desperately needs some some uh, some shooting on this team for sure. Uh, I'm I'm quite high on Killian Hayes, and I have to say I'm much higher on him now than I was last year. Mm-hmm. Um, I really like this kid. So Killian Hayes definitely a climber. Um, you know, uh, he's a legitimate lottery pick. What I like about Killian, you know, number one, his size. Uh, he's legit six five. Uh, um, and he's got a great, he's got a great build too. He's already filled out. He's very strong. Uh, I'd say he's about six five, uh, one ninety five. I think those are realistic measurements for him. Mm-hmm. He's uh, really put together. He's not a blow by freak athlete, but yeah. he's one of those guys that still manages to get from point A to point B pretty easily. Yeah. Certainly you know, uses a step back that, well, that's for sure. Yeah. I'm, I'm yeah, sure that'll yeah. help him at the next level as well. Yeah, and like I said, you know, going into the season, you know, he was considered more of a combo guard because he was a he was a scorer. He's a, he's a, he was a slashing scorer at the junior level. Mm. Um, but uh, this year, he's been playing straight point guard, and I have to say that I would see his primary position as a straight point guard. No, not not just not a combo guard, but a straight point guard Mm -hmm. um he's definitely proven himself you know in that capacity uh he's shown great poise great maturity uh skyrocketing confidence you know both in his playmaking just his game his offensive game in general what do you think where do you think there's areas that he struggled for ulm this year you know as far as weaknesses go he doesn't really know how to use that body to his advantage yet six five two fifteen sometimes when you're looking at him on the perimeter he's getting pushed around a little bit which he should absolutely not be uh you know that which actually not be happening with smaller guards and just you know really feeling himself out uh cutting down his turnovers and then another big thing with me is that um you know he's he's got he's got to uh, assert himself more on offense. One of the reasons that um, you are almost so bad this year uh, is that, you know, Killian kind of took a backseat to a lot of veterans on the team. And being 18 years old, that makes perfect sense. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but, you know, you want to see him more often asserting himself on offense. Uh, there was a, a lot of stretches in games that I watched where he would go invisible sometimes. Mm-hmm. And that's kind of just a thing where I think it's going to be easily corrected as he just, uh, you know, feels into his way. Uh, as a player and as a prospect. Um, uh, once again, another guy who's actually not a great shooter either. You know, mm-hmm. you look at his percentage, he barely cracks 30%, which for a guard, you know, especially worrisome. You know, nowadays it's worrisome even for a big man. Yeah. To, uh, but he's shown, he once again, his shot is improving. It's very inconsistent. You know, there may be a game where he's one for five, but you know, there are games where he's three for four. I'm just saying that mm-hmm. he's a guy that's improving. I don't think that, you know, his shot is going to, you know, um, make or break his career because he has many other strengths. And he's shown a knack. This obviously, you know, I've had the privilege of seeing him play a lot. He has a knack, though, despite, you know, his supposedly uh, shaky uh, jump shot. He's shown a knack, though, to be, for being able to get a bucket. Mm. You know, whether it's off the drive or a jump shot. Hayes, you know, he's he's one of those guys. He's intriguing. Uh, six five as well, lefty. You know, his shot's gotten way better. Um, but there's a lot of things that he does where, uh, you know, it's it's not necessarily making the play where it would be the smartest. And he does leave his feet a lot when he makes certain passes. And, you know, that's going to get kicked off in the NBA. 
but one of the one of the big things I like about him is that you know he's you know he's young, um, very very young. So you can groom him too. So you know those three are the, the guys that you got to focus on. Those three, if I'm the Knicks in terms of the point guard set, you know situation uh, for the draft at least. And you know who knows? You know maybe the CP3 thing happens, and then you really have a guy that could be groomed um, to to make things even easier to alleviate.